what's up welders welcome to another episode of adventures in welding i'm paul thanks for joining me today we're going to start building some shit i don't know if you guys are like me but i became a welder because i like to build stuff so i called up my good friends at onlinemetals.com and said i've got an idea to build a tailgate and grill you guys send me some metal i'll build it and together we'll give it away so that's what we're going to do. We're going to get started today. But first, a disclaimer, this is not my original idea. I got this idea from watching um, Lance Edwards' videos, Chucky 2009. So the original idea is his. But let's make this. All right, we are going to build this grill primarily out of 8th inch hot rolled steel. Now these are some uh, 12 inch by 4 inch pieces which we're going to use in the building of this but I am just going to use them to give you guys a basic idea of what the layout is going to look like now this grill is going to be 24 inches long by about 12, 24 by 12, somewhere in that area. And the top and the bottom are basically going to be the same, built out of this 1 8 inch steel. All right, again, what we got here is basically a mock-up. Well, that worked out well, didn't it? That's all right. We got plenty of magnets. So here's the front of our grill. We'll call this one the bottom. There's our sides. We're going to form the grill out of these four inch steel pieces. Now, like I said, we're going to be making this 24 inches long, so we'll be using longer pieces. I'm going to set my height and then I'll tack these pieces together for both the top and the bottom. And then we'll come back and we'll weld them out. So this is our first step. All good projects begin with the layout work. So I'm just marking some center lines on this bottom center piece of the grill. And I'll mark a couple spots where we're going to drill out for some air holes. And the mount for the tailgate uh, support piece is going to be right in the center. So we'll lay that out and we'll mount it up as well. Use a square all the time so your lines are perpendicular and parallel. Gives you a nice outcome at the end. I'm going to use a hole saw to cut these out. We've got some 3-in-1 oil on there for lubrication. Nice gentle pressure. Go slow. Slow drill speed. Now we'll use a half round file to take off the servant. Alright, we've got our holes cut. Everything's cleaned up. And we're ready to lay this out and get our initial tacks in. Now the angle of these two side pieces is completely arbitrary, but we want it to be even. So what I've done is I've set this square to this height of this piece, and we will adjust this one until it matches. Once it matches, we'll know that the angles on both sides are even, and then we can tack it up. It 
This is a little bit of fiddly work. But it's a good thing to get it done right. All right, I'm getting the MIG gun ready. Testing everything out. We got our settings about where they should be. And we'll get it tacked up. Probably gonna put about three tacks on each piece. We got her tacked. Next we'll check our angles one more time to make sure nothing has gotten gespinkto on us. Looking good. We can take out our magnets. Flip her over and we're ready to weld it up. All right, in the spirit of keeping things mixed up here, keeping it interesting, we did the uh, first weld with the MIG gun, and we're going to do this second weld with some low high 7018. Uh, this is 332, about 80 amps. You might say that's a little much for this metal, but it's going to work out just fine. All right, I've sped this up here considerably for your viewing pleasure because nobody likes to watch some buffoon. Uh, drag a 7018 along a seam and that's all it is it's a straight drag uh, you can watch the hand feeding down I will clean up there where we do the restart you always want to have a nice clean restart but it's a straight drag you want to keep yourself as steady as possible run a nice straight line build up a puddle about the size of a pea and move on All right, pay attention. This is my technique for getting a nice match up on the sides. We just trace it. I know my freehand uh, plasma cutting technique leaves a little bit to be desired, but that's okay because I traced it from the outside, so my rough cut really doesn't matter because we're going to hit it with the grinder and take it down maybe a sixteenth of an inch or so so that we have a nice edge to weld to. No biggie there. All right, we're back to tack on the side pieces that we plasma cut out. And once again, we're back to our MIG because, quite frankly, this is the way I like to tack things. The MIG makes it go really nice because I can hold this shit with one hand.
and tack it with the other. Alright guys, that's the end of part one of our trailer of blah, 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 blah. tailgater grill giveaway, blah blah blah. We built the bottom part of the grill, plasma cut the ends welded and all. We've used a combination of MIG welding and stick welding for the bottom part. We're going to bring in some TIG welding for the top part, which I'm probably not going to show you because it's just the same as the bottom part. Got it? Alright. If you want to find out how to win this grill, you got to go to onlinemetals.com. O N L I N E M E T A L S dot C O M. Check them out. Get your metal from them. They're good people. See you next time. Now get out of here. Really? Go. Go watch something else. This one's over.